But apparently, in the Philippines, was advertised as the sequel to and we clicked on the link. There was a whole Filipino news article, like Excuse those old me? ass scant. <laughs> the stakes are higher. You betrayed me. I only wish I had. Because stealing from Sam Quint is the biggest mistake you can make. Now he's going in. Yeah. After her. After them. After the Black Moon. The game is over. I wish there were a couple of ways we could do this. There's only one way. Tommy Lee Jones. Linda Hamilton. From the mind of John Carpenter. Black Moon. Rising. So that, that's the movie we're watching. Nick, I brought this to the table for a very specific reason, and it's been lingering in my brain for about a year. And that's a little bit of a hint of why I brought this to the table. We're kind of celebrating an anniversary with this movie. Do you have any guesses of why I brought this? It feels like it's probably the anniversary of The Wraith. Is it the that anniversary of us watching correct, The Wraith? And gentlemen. Yeah. It's, so The Wraith came out on our podcast on April 26th. And this episode will premiere on April 24th. Do you have any clue as to why I lined it up this way? Like, why this movie? Because it's a movie, a bad 80s movie that features a futuristic car. That is that is on the right track. But Nick, what if I told you that these two movies were actually related somehow? I'd believe you. Tell me how. So I got to shout out my coworker, Jason, who is a listener of the pod. So shout out, Jason. When I was talking to him a year ago about the Wraith, he usually Wikipedia's the movie and says, what the hell is like, what's going on here? But apparently in the Philippines... The Wraith was advertised as the sequel to Black Moon Rising. And we clicked on the link. There was a whole Filipino news article, like Excuse those old me? ass scan, <laughs> like those old ass scans of newspapers on what? the internet. Yeah. So, so Jason was looking at it and he said, why, wait, what, why did they, why did they market this as the sequel to Black Moon Rising? And I looked at it and thought, I don't know, but this is now, a, this is a shoe in for the watch list for next year. And honestly, I don't know why. Maybe Black Moon Rising did gangbusters in its very limited box office return in the Philippines for a desperate move for whatever studio did the Wraith to advertise it as the sequel to this movie. Nick, your thoughts on that, having seen both these movies now? I, I see your I, mind is blown. <laughs> so, <laughs> I see your mind is Because it, it feels... In the, in the Philippines, this is the, this is the prequel to the Wraith. In the Philippines, this is lore. This is deep lore. <laughs> uh, that's... Having watched both these movies, I don't know how you could ever come to that conclusion or accept that as reality. <laughs> the similarities are that it they're from the same year. So this movie came out in January of 1986 and the Wraith, I think came out in November or something. Uh, and then it came out like February or March in 1987 in the Philippines. And they just marketed it as the sequel to this movie for no fucking reason. Yeah, but the Wraith has a, is a ghost car. It's a ghost car. It has something to do with the afterlife. And this one is literally just a prototype car. Like is this your, it's it's appalling to me. It's it's almost disrespectful to an entire country to just pitch this as a sequel to a, a totally unrelated, not even the same movie production company. Yeah, it just I I am I'm baffled. I'm shocked. 
<laughs> isn't that baffled. isn't that insane? <laughs> yeah, what? I'm looking at it because the wraith w- the wraith was done by New Century Entertainment Corporation, whatever the hell that is, and this one was done by New World Pictures, I believe, which I have stuff to talk about later on. But uh, yeah, wild stuff, man. So that is why this is on the slate. Literally, the only reason. After I learned that weird fact. Well, let's let's talk about this movie. We'll let the listeners decide, I guess. And then so you'll have to go back and mind. listen to the Wraith episode. <laughs> Remember how I said the Wraith was the sequel to this movie? Yes. Did you even clock our guy, our our king, Nick Casavetes, a.k.a. Packard from the Wraith? He is Ryland's number one goon. I didn't clock him in the movie, but I... Later, when I was looking through IMDb, I had to go back and see it. Yes. Welcome back, the champ, the biggest sociopath slash psychopath of 2023, the biggest piece of shit fictional character that we crowned last year. Connect the son of a bitch and let's go. Of Nick Casavetes playing Packard in The Wraith. Packard, you're pathetic. He's making a return in Black Moon Rising. And apparently so, he plays a guy named Lewis or Luis. I don't know. So is this where is this where the Venn diagram overlaps here on these that's, two movies? That's it. <laughs> it's less than one percent. <laughs> Venn diagram. So wait, that, so wait. They're like, all right, so same actor, same actor. <laughs> the Wraith. The Wraith is quote unquote the sequel, right, to this yes. movie. So yeah. Packard <laughs> left this crime syndicate and then moved to this small town murdered charlie sheen's character oh you know it's crazy i mean spoilers Luis gets capped in this movie so he dies in this movie but then maybe he was the original wraith and he came back and he was meant to get revenge on his killer which was linda hamilton as we'll learn but he never got it so he just banished himself to arizona and posed as a high schooler who was super abusive and got in conflict with uh, Charlie Sheen. That's the best fan theory we can come up with. 